Hi, we're Crater. I'm Sessie. I'm Cassia. Cass and I both went to NYU together mm -hmm. and we um, we studied music production and engineering music business and we were both in separate and different bands in college. She was in a band that was in Seattle even though she was going to NYU and I was in a punk band in, in New York. Um, but after we graduated, I got sick of New York and I was like, I'm gonna move to Seattle kind of on a whim and Kess was one of the only people I knew there because she's my best friend. I moved out there and started writing music and then she was still on tour and then she came back and she liked it and she was like, well, I think I could help you with this. And I was like, yeah, you're probably right. And then <laughs> we kind of just decided to start writing a record together, really. Throughout college, I had always wanted to be in a band with Ceci, but because we were committed to these other projects, there was never an opportunity. Right. Um, and so after college, there was this time and I took advantage of it. Yeah, now we're here. I listen to a lot of predominantly electronic music. Um, both of us started out just being in straight ahead rock bands and really when I went to school and like really being in New York introduced me to the whole um, electronic scene, um, going to a lot of techno shows and seeing a lot of DJs and I basically just reoriented the way that I wrote music because I was kind of sick of just you know, playing the guitar, playing the piano, and singing. Growing up I listened to predominantly like rock and roll and so that has ultimately affected the way that we kind of write our songs as well. Like, mm -hmm. I have a more, like, live, organic approach. And then Ceci does everything on the computer, and I'll come in and kind of, like, say what my ideas are. I'll play something. Um, but because of her, I have sort of integrated technology into the way that I write songs. Um, but it's been an interesting process. It's interesting because, like, as I get older and, you know, I've played hundreds and hundreds of shows throughout my life, I realized that I used to feed off the audience a lot more, mm -hmm. but sometimes it's deceiving to do that because you can play a set somewhere and the audience won't react at all, but then afterwards a ton of people will come up to you and be like, that was awesome, and they'll buy a bunch of merch. It's just people experience and enjoy music in different mm -hmm. ways, so I try not to judge people or force them to do anything. We feed off each other a lot too. Yeah. Um, that makes the performance more entertaining, but I don't know, I, I still like rely pretty heavily on audience engagement, mm -hmm. um, but like Ceci said, even if a crowd is kind of st like still, I try to not let it affect how I then engage with the audience. I still give my all, but it, like inside I'm like, oh, I really wish they were dancing, but yeah. You know, again, you can't, can't, always, can't, get always, can't right. always get them. <laughs> My favorite thing is just like being able to talk to people about what they thought about the set. And that's like what makes it special to me is, you know, seeing seeing our music affect someone right. um, in I'm some sure capacity. That's really rewarding. Yeah. So 